Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Blender for Korman for Beginners. Um, today is something of a special request of an episode. Um, so this is Edder Nabry. If you've been on uh, uh, the Minkata Test Shard, you may recognize a lot of this in its current state. Um, this, nope, that this is not finalized and all that. But um, the main thing to uh, that I'm... Yep, yeah, uh, ignore the, the bronze on this. This is all temporary texturing on that bridge still. Um, the main thing that we're doing today is something a little, uh, a little clever. And it's it's something that, uh, was basically requested by our fellow, uh, age worker, uh, Amethyst. Um, the thing that we're going to be doing today is I'm going to be showing you how to put in Kai coordinates into your age. Now, uh, you may be thinking to yourself, Kai coordinates? Why would we have key coordinates? Kai key. I apologize if I flip flop on the pronunciation of that. I, I'm I, I used to say Kai as a kid, and then I and then I knew learned it was key. And anyway, so you're like, well, we're in an age, right? We're in an age where you know there are no marker coordinates. I mean, if I open my Kai right now, you'll see no Kai coordinates, key coordinates, whatever. Well, anyway, that's actually just because this key on, um, the Destiny Shard, um, Destiny 4, uh, Neighborhood, I don't have the coordinates calibrated. You see, there's no marker thing on the key here, uh, yeah. But there is a maintainer marker here, and in the lore, as Cyan designed it, um, maintainer markers like this were what, um, you know, maintainer markers were what, like, miniature great zeros. They put a beam of data into the age that, you know, applied the in-game coordinate system to an age. Um, so I don't have, remember the, uh, command at the moment to, uh, the Python cheat command to, uh, quickly calibrate my Kai, but, um, if you excuse me, I will swap over to the Minkata shard, and we will, uh, go to Minkata, where I have a calibrated key. And here we are in Minkata's Edder Nabry, uh, Minkata Alpha. But if I open my Kai here, looky, looky, I have coordinates! So, yes. We are going to be, um, talking about coordinates. Um, and after I did the switch and everything, Hazido, thank his soul, gave me, uh, gave me the command to, uh, do the, the, do the Python thing, so we will switch back to that in just a minute. Um, so. But yeah, if you notice, when I move around the age, the coordinates, um, change. I'm currently, uh, negative two below the, uh, the, the marker. And the reason for that in elevation. So basically, um, you know, I climb back up here. Yes, this is a replacement ladder. There's a whole story involved in that that I'm not going into on this, except beyond the fact that you really don't want to mess with your ladders <laughs> once you get them in. Uh, yeah. Anyways, you notice, as I get closer, look, my coordinates are leveling out. How fun is that? So yeah, you look here, and you have our little marker here, yep. and if I stand on it, I'm basically at zero! The zero point! Although I'm off on the angle. I can't exactly, uh, yeah, you know, if I shuffle, up, shuffle a little, the coordinates change. Yeah. How fun is this? Look at this. If I step over here, yep, coordinates change. So this is the thing to keep in mind with key coordinates. Um, yeah, basically, um, you designate a object in the. Uh, um, it'll be quicker if I just jump out of here and show you. Okay, so basically, uh, maintainer markers. You here is. Hold on. I didn't want to grab the light there, because that's my light source. Um, so, let's see here. Let's see, I think it's one of these. Come on. 
that one? What's going on there? Come on. There we go. So, here's my object, my maintainer marker object. And uh, you look here, I have a plasma marker, maintainer marker. Positive Y is north, positive Z is up. I have the setting set to calibrated. So, um, yeah, so, basically, here's my object, and it's pointing, um, it's negative, it's positive Y is, let's see, Y axis is the green one, so, but this is slightly turned, so Y is, um, tab in this direction, Y is its object pointing that way, so, and the Z is obviously pointing up. So, with our marker here, the line for the coordinate is basically going in a straight line. You can't really see that all that well, but it's going in a straight line clear across the age. Oh, now that we've uh, poked at that, I'm going to open up um, a different blunt. I'm going to open up a different file here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. um that's not what I want. I want a pop concept revisit. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, I've got a couple maps here. Um, basically, this is the map that I'm running with for my current, uh, where is everything in a gear, in, in the cavern, um, layout. If I open up Jimp. Now I'm going to give you a brief rundown of things. Um, go. I'm gonna file, save as rusted original with names, because we're gonna be adding names to this. So, essentially, um, essentially what we should be having here roughly is the center of Agira, the top spy, let's see this map is roughly it's it's not quite proper. Um, the the main um main issue is uh, Agira is the map that I did originally with it centered. This is you know where you see your zero line. Um, actually no, I should probably be using this one for this, but I have it wrong. Anyway, the point is is that when I did this map originally, I had Agira centered with its zero line, with its zero point being in the center of the map. Now, the, here's the thing. Uh, that was inaccurate to the original map I was doing my base work on because I had to move Agira down and I had to flip everything around to get it. But anyway, point is, is uh, this Agira it map, this cavern map is more accurate even if it's um, skewed off of the line work, essentially. Um, just ignore that. Just ignore that trim around the edge um, because we're not worried about that moment. I'm just going to grab a blue line, new layer. Okay. So here's our zero point and it is still in alignment with our zero line. This is zero, zero, coordinate zero, zero. Edit. Path. Struck. So here's the thing. Um, um, our friend Amethyst wants to, uh, put coordinates on the island on the hood of Elonin, which is right here. So let me scale that up and actually let me rewrite that Elonin and bring that up. And I'll make that bold and stretched out. There we go. Um, so basically Elonin is right here. It's kind of somewhere in here, basically, I think. Um, I have to visit the age again to make sure um, where exactly we're putting it. So, you know, it's, I'm thinking this is where we're going for with in terms of, uh, in terms of just where we can see the island of Agira in the age. So this is where it is. Um, and just to fill out everything else, um, I'm just gonna quickly um, do a what happened? line. Dang it! Delete. There we go. 
Now nah, that works. Okay. So Chess Cathedral is um right here, basically. Um boop. Boop boop. Edit fill. There we go. Okay, so Chess Cathedral is right about there. Um the main thing that we're gonna be doing is actually we're gonna be working with Chesasen Cathedral. So if I go to here Cathedral Island, and we're gonna open this up. So, um, we're basically, what we're going to be doing is we're going to zoom out here, and you'll see I've got basically, um, the, uh, oops, wrong thing. You'll see here that I've basically got my cavern map texture under, um, underneath everything, that I've basically, uh, based my layout of everything, um, where it is. And again, you'll notice that I have gear flipped around properly here, but I have the map upside down wrong, basically. Anyway, point is, is that consistency-wise, I have a gear up further forward in this map than it is here. It roughly doesn't matter. It, this is, this map doesn't exactly matter. Um, it's just a rough approximation, and it's got circle bias all over the hell of it. So, you know. Anyway, so. What are we going to do about correcting this travesty of a key coordinate failure? Because uh, this age does not have key coordinates. It should have key coordinates because it's in the cavern. So I'm going to be putting a little thing here, and I'm going to create an empty. Yep, an empty object. This is my empty, and as we've established, when we go in and add marker cords, plasma object, and if we set this to a maintainer marker, set this to calibrated, so as it says, positive Y is north, positive Z is up, so if I um, export this age right now, which I will do for proof and demonstration purposes without adjusting that marker, so here we are at the... Uh, Island, because it's in Cathedral Island. And again, you'll notice I don't have my Chi coordinates. So here's how we're going to actually deal with this, because we're going to open the Plasma Console, and here's the command that we need. It okay, so apparently it's more... I just need to do a different command. GZ, give me... Full access? Is that the right spelling? Give me full access. Hmm. There we go! Now we got coordinates! Woohoo! Yay! Okay, so now we have coordinates. And as you can probably guess, let me uh, go up and up and up and up and up here. Um. Yeah, the thing to note is, yeah, my chi coordinates are all kinds of wrong, because here's the thing. Look at this. I'm, I'm way, 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 you yeah, know, this is not rotated right at all. The, like, I am edging closer to the zero line, but Agira is pointed the wrong way for the zero line. So, yeah, like I said, the coordinates are all pointing in the wrong direction. My green line here is pointing way off center. So, to rectify this, let's go into my edit here, and I'm gonna do R, Z, and I'm just gonna rotate this like so. And would you look at that? Now, my line that was here is now up here. Or at least, I'm assuming it is. Let me check. Did I rotate it? Um, no, I did not rotate it. I hit the wrong button. Okay, so, <clears throat> my green line, we want to have this rotated negative, you know, you know, cause, so here, basically, here's the thing. We want it at a 90 degree angle. So, RZ, let's twist this to... I'm on, I'm on, almost, oh, almost, come on. 
Boom! There. That is close enough. That is close enough. We got our z-axis. We've got our y pointed now that direction. Or at least it should be. So we're going to export and check again. Well, here we are back again, and hey, would you look at that? Now, amazingly, I think I managed to get my height almost spot on because I'm at lake level. And in uh, a gear proper, it's around 90, negative 90 something or other. I probably need to adjust that after I check properly, but I'm at lake level right now. I'm at the not negative 90 mark, so I actually got really lucky with my uh, d dummy Agira height there. So that's that's all consistent. Um, uh, let's see here. Yep, I'm at the 490 range, which if I look at my uh, map here, I um, think... Yeah, I think that's about right. That's about right where I want to be spot on. But let's, you know, let's fly out towards Agira here. And I apologize, this is going to be a very long flight, even um, in, uh, you know, even in what I, even with cap locks on, because, uh, boy, did I build a big skybox for this. I'm pretty sure this Agira is almost completely to scale. Which is actually kind of ironic, considering that I didn't build it intentionally to being to scale. But I mean, we're going to fly out towards our Curious Arch here. And if we look at our coordinates as we get closer, you'll notice, yep, our coordinates are getting bigger as we come in closer to the zero line. Yeah, so see, this is the trick with coordinates. Basically, you have to make sure that your y-axis is pointing where... Your positive y-axis is usually the green line on a default placement of an object. You want to make sure that that is pointing almost exactly in the direction you want your zero line to go. Now, if I look closer... Yep, we're getting closer. We are definitely getting closer. And you can see my uh, dummy Agera here is getting very, very close, and it's... Not the best model. I literally only designed half of it because you're not supposed to be out this far. You're not supposed to be out this far. And uh, I'm trying to save on polygon counts and such. But if we look here, oh, we're almost there. We're almost to the, we're almost in the 600s or 60,000, the 60,000s. 60, anyway, so here's Kareth's arch that I made. Um... My dummy Kirith's arch. Look at that! We're almost spot on. 107. Okay. And we cross over the zero line. 21. Okay, let me turn off caps. 12. 6. Just slightly over. 7. Yep, okay. I'm gonna say that is a successful uh, coordinate calibration because it's off, but you know what? It is properly off in the right direction, at least. It's it's within a margin of value. Actually, you know what? Next. And I screwed up with that because, of course, I did. Anyway, uh, hey, there's an Avery book. Um, anyway, so. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is Kai coordinates in its most basic. Um, have at it, uh, Amethyst. Um, I hope this helped, given my meandering. Um, so, yeah. Uh, sure, Abishem T. And, of course, because I was live moding and I warped around, of course, the stupid. Let me. There we go. Now let me do that again. Shorabashemte. Thank you for watching.